Okay, this is not the normal day of a yogurt salesman. After two years of perfecting the recipe with the help of Mustafa, the first cup of Chobani hit the store shelves in 2007. Since then, we've grown tremendously. We've become the number one selling yogurt brand in America. Number one selling yogurt brand in America. What an accomplishment. The world's largest yogurt facility in 326 days. And when we broke ground in, in December, and then started actual construction late in January. First time uh, I met Hamdi and the team, uh, he came into my office uh, over at the Capitol and uh, introduced himself and, and the team, Nico and the rest of the folks. And I said, you know, Hamdi, it's only fair and proper. I went to Ishmir, Turkey and built a potato plant that you come to Idaho and build a yogurt plant. <laughs> And that started our relationship. Welcome, Hamdi. We appreciate your investment. I brought my hard hat. This is the hard hat I wore at the groundbreaking exactly a year ago. And to show the significance of this is I'm single, so I get to make my own decorating ideas. This is actually prominently displayed in my living room. And uh, most people wouldn't let their wives wouldn't let them do that, but I get the chance to display that. Former Mayor Don Hall, who's the Vice Mayor now, to come forth and help me. I'm not going to read the whole proclamation because it said much of the same things as the Governor's did, but I hereby declare today, December 7, 2012, as Jabani Day in Twin Falls. And I want to say that that for me, sitting here, uh, Hamdi, and, and seeing you here, but seeing your team of five, it, it's pretty astounding when I was sitting here looking at, at this crew that were the founders of, of what you've done, not only in Twin Falls, Idaho, but in New York and around the world. Um, I was laughing. I asked him if it was true what I read in the New York Times one day, which, you know, sometimes the press doesn't let the truth get in the way of a good story, but, but the comment there was that that the day you walked into the plant with your team, and according to the, the New York Times, you looked around and someone said, what are we going to do now? And the first thing that came to mind, the only thing that came to mind was, well, let's paint the walls. And what I'm most proud every day is the people that I work with. That's our biggest strength. When I started working here, um, it didn't take a long time to realize that it was more than a than a job, it was a family. We're gonna do things that we are proud of, we're gonna make things that we love to do, and we're gonna make it in a way that we always enjoy to do it. And while we're doing it, we're gonna have fun. It is now my, my honor to introduce Chobani's fearless leader, Hamdi Ulukaya. So Chobani came here to try something crazy too. We said, let's build a biggest plant in the world and let's make it in the size of 17 football fields. Let's get it up and running less than a year. Even Mr. Kneewill would, would, would not try something so crazy. <laughs> so the craziest of all, we actually did it. And we did it together. For us and also your community. Of course, none of this would have been possible without people of Twin Falls and people of Idaho. At Chobani, when we're deciding to where to expand, we run numbers like any other companies. We look at the milk, we look at the power price, we look at the distribution, but the numbers were always good in Idaho. But that's not why we are here. We came here because of you. You see, Chobani did not pick Magic Valley. Magic Valley picked Chobani. You know, from that day to here, it's nothing, be, nothing but being an amazing, amazing journey. From that five people to almost 2,000 people now, building that South Edmiston plant to be one of the largest yogurt plant in the world, and from that plant, building the largest plant in the world with 2,000 people and spending $450 million and building in less than one year. This is what your country is all about. At Chobani, we live the dream of America and this is the time to celebrate it. If you look around here, this is the uh, really big, high-speed V8 
very, very high-tech plant. But not much has changed. We are making the same yogurt. We work, we work with some kind, same kind of honorable, decent people. And from Chobani's story, we see something timeless about America. The things that we count on, they sometimes don't last. The economy, it isn't always good. But from hardship comes opportunity. The opportunity to take a risk, to make things better, and to make things. The kind of Period. new beginning that's only possible in a community like this and a country like ours. So my message for you is quite simple. Thank you for making us part of your American dream and for making our crazy dream in a reality in the process. Now, my colleague Kyle has always said, after this, this ceremony, we'll go back to work. Thank you so much.